This video is for educational purposes only. These are extraordinarily ordinary women who committed heinous acts that should have resulted in their execution. These are women who are incarcerated. 1. Rosie Alfaro Autumn Wallace was murdered, and 18-year-old Rosie Alfaro was found guilty of the crime. Pregnant and intoxicated on drugs, Alfaro broke into the Wallace's house to steal money. She chose to murder Autumn after discovering her to get rid of the witness. Before the raid, she had confessed to stabbing her 57 times, but she then altered her story to claim that a male accomplice had coerced her into killing her. There has never been a man recognized. Alfaro is presently incarcerated on death row after being convicted guilty of capital murder. 2. Wendy Andriano Joseph Andriano was murdered in his apartment on October 8, 2000. He was stabbed in the neck with a 13-inch knife and beaten with a bar stool. 23 severe blows to the head were noted in the post-mortem examinations, along with sodium azide residues in his body. When paramedics came, Wendy said her critically sick husband was about to pass away, but they wouldn't let her into the flat. An hour later, she said she had beaten and stabbed her husband out of self-defense, but because Joe was receiving mild chemotherapy, her claims were not taken seriously. Wendy is now being detained on death row after being found guilty. 3. Belinda Magana In 2009, Malachi Magana was abused by his mother Belinda Magana, and her boyfriend Naresh, Michael, Nareen, resulting in serious injuries. Malachi was severely injured by having boiling liquid poured over him, having diaper rash cream applied to his exposed flesh, and being struck with their hands or belts. Although the exact cause of death is unknown, sepsis from infected wounds or blunt force trauma is thought to be a possibility. 4. Shonda Johnson After divorcing Randy McCuller, Shonda Johnson wed Tim Richards and William McIntyre. Following McCullough's divorce and child custody petition, his ex-wife killed him. Richards was asked by Johnson to murder McCullough, but he refused. In a BC lounge, she persuaded Richards to slash McCullough's tire. Following McCullough to a parking area, Johnson gave Richards a loaded pistol to kill him. Richards was a Johnson witness. 5. Lisa Montgomery the 36-year-old Lisa M. Montgomery was found guilty of killing Bobby Stinnett, who was eight months pregnant, and removing the unborn child from her body. She was also determined to have ripped the baby from her womb. Thankfully, Lisa and the infant were apprehended by the cops, having escaped the attack. On January 13, 2021, she was killed by lethal injection, and she is no longer on death row. 6. Carrie Lynn Dalton Irene Louise May was reportedly tortured and killed by Carrie Lynn Dalton and three accomplices in 1988 using a variety of weapons. Dalton became enraged and resorted to torture and murderous ways because he thought May had stolen her jewelry. The group beat, stabbed, and shocked them using an electric shock and a cast iron frying pan. Dalton was given a death by lethal injection sentence after being found guilty of murder. This is all for today don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more of such videos.